Hey, this is Peens. Day 28 on the PCT wasn't my most favorite day. I woke up along the aqueduct pretty early because an animal was grunting, and then I packed up camp and hit the trail around 7.30 a.m. This section is all on a dirt road that's very long and straight. It was just pretty monotonous. Uh, I did see some new wildflowers and had some good conversations with some northbound hikers. For some reason, I just wasn't feeling it. I felt pretty low energy or tired, and I just wanted this section to be over. It was only 10 and a half miles into Hiker Town, but it felt like it took forever. <laughs> then, um, finally, I made it into Hiker Town. It was pretty quiet, but there was a nice uh, Dutch lady here that helped me figure it out. Everybody says that Hiker Town is really creepy, and I didn't think it was that bad. It's It's pretty okay. I mean, it's not a normal place, but it's not a creepy place either. I picked up my package uh, and I took a shower, so that felt wonderful. I still haven't quite nailed down my food situation because I have way too much food in my uh, bag now, especially after that package, but I'm gonna figure this out. Part of me wants to just keep it and then carry it all the way because I'll, I'll eat it and then I won't run out of food either. <laughs> I initially had planned to go a little bit further down the trail, like another five miles to the first water source, but it was pretty okay here and I just ended up hanging out and over the course of the afternoon, a lot of different hikers came in and it was fun to talk to them and just hang out and I charged all of my devices. Then uh, later in the day, the Dutch girl asked if I wanted to get a hitch with them into the market, the Weeville market, so that we could get burgers. I'm really glad I did that. I went in and got a club sandwich and we had beer and I hung out with this really fun trail family that inspired me to get my own trail family. They uh, like to take it easy and take a lot of rest days. So they're like, oh, we do 10 mile days and we rest all the time. And that made me think I need to be more like that. Um, after getting back from the market, I was just hanging out, chilling in my room. I ended up getting a single cabin at Hiker Town. It's a very small little cabin with basically just a bed in it, no electricity or anything for $25. I'm glad I did that. It was really windy out. Here, I can show you this really fast. It's the window. And then you can see there's the wall. There's my tent drying. There's the wall. And then that's uh, basically the whole cabin. Uh, but I think it was a pretty good deal for uh, $25 given the windy weather. So uh, Dan and Micah made it here yesterday. It's crazy. They did 24 miles and uh, we hung out for a little bit and I decided I'm gonna just hike with them. We're always kind of leapfrogging and texting in any ways, so why not just hang out? It uh, looks like it's pretty cloudy and windy today, but we're going to go in and get some pancakes and then uh, figure out where we're going to hike to next.